Today we're going to do a test of Newton's third law. If you came to the school and got a lab kit, it will have in it a small straw with a string wrapped around it and some tape. You'll have two balloons. You don't need two balloons, but in case one breaks, you'll have a backup and then something to measure with. If you have a longer measuring tape or a yardstick, that would probably be better. But since this was in the lab kit, I'm going to use this to measure today. You're going to set it up so that your string is tight between two things. I have it set up between two chairs that are on a table right now. But before you tie it tight, you're going to have to make sure that your straw is on that string. I'm going to take my tape. So some of the tape is going to be used to tape your balloon to the straw. I'm going to take a really small piece of tape and just mark my starting point every time, or starting point so that I can start at the same place every time. I'm going to move my straw over to that starting place. I'm going to have my a little bit longer piece of tape ready to go. Right there, ready to go. And then I'm going to take a balloon. Now you're going to do two different tests. You're going to test a balloon with a little bit of air and then test a balloon with a lot of air. So we're going to call that the small balloon and the big balloon. So even, the balloon, even though the balloon is the same balloon for each test, the amount of air you put in it will determine if it's the big balloon or the little balloon. So for the little balloon, I'm only going to put maybe two puffs of air in it. So it looks about that big. If you'd like to get even more precise, you can even measure it. Try and get the same diameter, or excuse me, same yeah, diameter each time. This one has about a diameter of 12 centimeters. So I'm going to go for 12 centimeters each time I do this test. So then I'm going to take the straw, I'm going to put the tape onto the straw, and then I'm going to tape my balloon onto that straw, and then I'm going to let go. Okay, we went to about right here, and since the starting point started with that end of the straw, that's where I'm going to measure. So on your ruler, we're going to use centimeters, and your ruler has 30 centimeters on it. So there's 30 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 90 centimeters, 90 centimeters plus 17 centimeters. So that's going to be 107 centimeters. Write that down on your data table that you drew in your notebook. All right, test number two. Remember, we're going to try and do everything the same because those are our controls. I'm going to want it to be about 12 centimeters. Okay. Alright, we're about there. Tape it back onto the straw. Move the straw all the way back to the starting point and let go. Ooh, the balloon came off that time. Okay, 30 centimeters. 60 centimeters plus 11, so that's 71 centimeters. Write that down for trial two in your lab notebook. All right, let's do trial three. This time we're gonna make sure it's taped on better. Newton's first law had, um, had to do with that in the last thing where even when it ran out of air, it wanted to keep going because it has inertia. So that was a good example of Newton's first law. Here we go. Ooh, that one did not go very far at all. Okay. 30 centimeters plus, oops, plus 10, so just 40 centimeters that time. Okay. I'm going to switch the color of my balloon simply so that if you're scanning through the video and need to rewatch, you can see um, pink balloon is for small, orange balloon is for big, so that just helps you if you're going back and need to review the video, help you find uh, where the big and the little one is. So this time I'm going to blow up the balloon bigger. Okay, so it's bigger than the last time. This time we're about uh, or almost to 20, so I'm going to blow up a little bit bigger, so we're about 20 centimeters. Because that makes it nice and even, about 20 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to pull it all the way back to my start point. Make sure you're always starting at the same place. So that when we take our measurements, they'll be accurate. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, even though I had some trouble going around. Thirty centimeters, sixty centimeters, ninety centimeters, one hundred twenty centimeters, plus eighteen. So that's about one hundred thirty-eight centimeters. About one hundred thirty-eight centimeters for trial one for the big balloon. Okay, let's move it over. About the same size. Oh, I'm measuring it the wrong way. Okay, yep. I'm going to tape it on. Make sure the tape is really, really on there. Here we go. Okay. 30 centimeters. 60 centimeters, 90 centimeters, 120 centimeters, and plus 20, 20 centimeters. So we're at 140 centimeters. So that's your second trial for the big balloon. Last one for the big balloon. centimeters, 60 centimeters, 90 centimeters, 120 centimeters, plus 21. So we're at 141 centimeters. So make sure you get your data charts filled out and answer the questions in your assignment.